the next fight we're going to cover, Carolina Kovalkiewicz versus go. Felice Herrig. The now, people's main event. Oh, Old man. school women's MMA. Two pioneers yeah, of women's MMA, dude. in my opinion. I love Catalina Kovalkiewicz, man. Doesn't everybody? I just love her. And then the way that she just leans back against the cage whenever they call her name, and she just looks so calm. Yeah. You know, she's been going I, through it lately, times, man. She has, you know. Uh, I know that she had, uh, she was uh, battling some mental demons, right? And, and just Definitely. not wanting to really get back in the cage, not really enjoying the process anymore. Wasn't really sure if she was going to continue fighting. I mean, she's at probably one close point, to she was, cut. I, dude, I'm, she had to have been, but she's so adorable. Why would you cut her? But the <laughs> thing is, dude, okay, listen, so she went up oh, against man. Joanna Janjacek, right? And almost finished Fighting her. for the title. Claudia Cadelia. Do you remember yeah. that, though? She almost finished yeah. her. The overhand right. And then, uh, you know, she goes on a couple wins again. Uh, one of those against Felice Herrig. And then she fights yeah. Jessica Andrade. And I, I witnessed this live, Will. <laughs> and when I tell you my heart was broken... Yeah. Dude, I was devastated. Devastated. I was devastated. By the way, Andrage, this is pretty much a pick Andrage and fight. does that. Yeah, pick and yeah. fight. But Andrade does that to people. When she slammed Rose on her neck, my heart broke. But, uh, yeah, I mean, she's coming into this five losses in a row. But five if you look at the losses, Andrade, Karate Hottie, Grasso, Yan Shanon, and Penny. Not the best. One, that, that's a rough one. You know what I mean? That's a rough one. But other than that, uh, she lost really to Jessica. No oh, Andrade? No, Pene. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, well. both. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but she comes into this. Felice is also kind of towards the end of her career, you know, um, obviously. after One the fact, foot in, one foot out already. One foot. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like you said, pick them, fight. Um, but, man, Carolina, the difference in this fight for me was, here's a perfect picture. Uh, Felice is throwing especially in that first round she kind of tuned it up a little bit more at the start of the second but that first round she was reaching she was throwing super far blitzing she's punching yeah not even really blitzing she's trying to punch she's trying to get to the target with her hands rather than her feet right doesn't work and uh carolina was um there's a difference with you're really trying to punch somebody versus i'm getting there with my feet and my upper body is doing the combo and if you're there, you're there. That's my that's on my feet. My feet are to get me there. I'm just throwing my combo the way I'm supposed to throw it. Hopefully, my feet are getting me there. The difference between the two, right there, because because Felice is reaching with her hands, trying to t- trying to touch her, but Carolina is throwing her combos and getting there. Uh, and if you go to the next picture, it's it's the complete opposite of this. Uh, and it's her in tight, right? She's not far away, and she's cracking her every time. Felice would reach, reach, reach. And Carolina's like, slip, slip. And here I am with my combos and I'm cracking you. Not a ton of power on him, right? But, but man, I was so impressed. I was so impressed because everywhere the fight went, she was beating her. Yeah, yeah, I know. And uh, the thing with Harry, like you said, reaching a little bit. And there's a few times, if you go back and watch the fight, which you probably won't because, I, I mean, there's not much to rewatch on this one. I rewatched but- it this morning. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm a made degenerate. But there's yeah. this thing where Carolina would slip, and Herrig was keeping her head in the center line so much, yeah. so yeah. much that Catalina at Southpaw would slip left as Herrig was coming in, and she would hit her with a straight right three times yeah. in a row, three yeah. times in a row, while Herrig is throwing left, right, left, right, trying to trying to reach her. She's a like, bah. Yeah, Catalina's just <laughs> popping her three times in a row, just and she wasn't even having a lot of head movement. It was just a simple slip, but her head stayed in the exact same position so long that she landed the yeah. exact same straight three times. Yeah. And I'm like, come on, uh, you know. So, like you said, she started getting a little bit better as the fight continued going on. But at this point, mm-hmm. she was already getting pretty beat up, man. She went to her corner, uh, you know, at the end of the first round, uh, already showing some damage on her face. Uh, mm-hmm. They they start, uh, you know, clinching a little bit more. And Catalina did such a good job of elbowing off the break. Yeah, can we go back elbowing one off picture, the Rich? Over and over again. And I don't know how many times, but from like three that. minutes into the first round, Harry kept on looking at the clock over yeah. and over and over again and taking like said, deep breaths yeah. and then walking back towards Catalina. They would and break, Catalina would elbow, <laughs> and before she pressured again, she'd look up and then I walk forward too, again. Yeah. And it's just like, well, fuck, I'm already here. Might as well. 
You know, that's one foot in, one foot out, like you said. That's one foot in, one foot out. But, but hey, uh, props to Herrick, man. Great career for her. She went in there, man. Yeah, and she she retired after the fight. Uh, I do want to say that the the finish, she got out of the first rear naked choke. Um, Carolina was kind of on the side though. She didn't have full like back control, right? She had one hook in the way the they were, the way they were positioned. She didn't really have full back control, so the angle was kind of off. You hear her coaches say bail on it, uh, step over to mount. She does it right when they say it. And then she hits her a couple times and it forces Herrick to go into the turtle position. And then from there, dude, the hooks that she was landing, nasty. Vicious. And that's how you get a choke. That's how you get a choke. Unless you're like Damian Maya or Ortega, some, somebody like that who can just like find their way in. You just yeah. batter them until they have to like try to do something. And then the choke's there, sinks it up, got the win. Immediately screams after. You could tell this was like, it was a big Men deal. A lot. You know, five in a row. She lost five in a row coming into this, you know. Um, and man, this back it, on the wing column. Yeah, this is what happens. This fight takes place. She gets a second round finish. Got to feel amazing. Reignites the career. She's at ATT. She's training with Joanna. All these people, right? She looked like she's much better, right? Less reserved. She's going in there throwing combos. And on the flip side, Herrig uh, retires after the fight. Could you imagine if this was the other way around and Herrig wins? Oh. Then retires. She's gone. And they're both and like, hey, Carolina, we're both out. Yeah, Carolina probably gets cut. This oh. this could have been a disaster. Don't cut her every year. Complete UFC. meltdown. I know. But Don't recut her. All right. Great fight from her, though. Congratulations. I was Carolina. excited about that fight, man. And also That's congratulations, to Felice Herrick, for a great career. Yeah. I mean, both of them pioneers. Starting in 2009. MMA. Felice Herrick started 2009. On, she was on tough with, with Rose, Penne, mm-hmm. Carla Sparza. I mean, she was part of that. They kind of helped usher in that division. Did you watch that entire season? Of course I did. I was going to say, for somebody that loves UFC drama, you were probably just in like UFC heaven watching well, that. That was so I much drama. Se- I watched that season specifically for Rose because I was a Pat Berry fan and I knew she was ah. going to be on it. And I was like, oh, let's go, Doug Rose. Well, she wasn't Doug Rose yet, but uh, yeah. I was like, Rose, she's a killer. Turns to Pat Berry together, all that stuff. So I watched it literally just for that. Um, Watch it for season. Rose. Stayed for the drama. Stayed for the drama. Beck Rawlings. <laughs> that was a good season, man. It One was. of the last it was good, tough seasons. Good. I'm just talking yeah. shit because I watched the entire thing too. And I loved yeah. it. All right. So, <laughs> hey, everybody. Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah. If you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, Don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, And don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. uh, And you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. goes a long way. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.